Hey guys, welcome to JPT. I'm Carson G, and this is Just Plain Tech. Today's video, I have this Acer Aspire 9410 right here. I had four operating systems on this thing, and OpenSUSE is one of them. OpenSUSE XFCE to be specific. However, it doesn't really run very well. It's very laggy on this old computer. So we're going to replace it with Puppy Linux. And I'm going to show you how to install Puppy Linux. The first thing you're going to need is a Puppy Linux flash drive. A flash drive with a Puppy Linux Live CD on it. If you do not know how to format that, please check out this video up here showing you how to format a bootable Live CD. Alright, here we are on our Puppy Linux Live CD. We're just going to go to Menu, System, G Parted. We're going to prepare the partitions before installing the system. And we're going to do it with G Parted. Unless you want to do it through the command line, but I'm going to do it through G parted. Alright, so I cleared up an unallocated 30 gigabytes here, which is where OpenSUSE used to be. So I can just click New, and we're going to do EXT2 partition right there, and then we're just going to click Apply. And that should be done within a few seconds. I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, it's done. So now we can just click close, drag G parted over here. We're going to go to applications, setup, puppy installer. Just going to click universal installer. All right. Now, while we're here, we're going to wait for G parted to finish loading and doing that real quick. All right, so it's done doing that. I'm gonna do internal hard drive. Yeah. And now, right around here, this is why we need to have G parted open. All right, so you see this here? Now it's asking us which partition we want to install Puppy Linux on. And this is the one we cleared up, the ext2 partition, which is dev sda1. So we'll click that. Now, you have chosen to install puppy to dev sda1. That is correct, which has ext2. That is correct. So we could just click OK. Now we can do frugal. Just do frugal. Don't do full. OK. And then there we go. Just keep clicking OK. And then it will install Puppy for us. I'll get back to you in that. Oh, OK. Never mind. So it'll ask us, do we want to install Grub for DOS? I already have Grub on here. And in tomorrow's video, I'll show you how to add Puppy Linux to Grub. But for now, just click no, because I don't want that. I already have Grub. Okay, now it's all done. Just close that out. Close this out. And there, you have Puppy Linux installed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.